guys this is me Paul good gaming ideas and welcome to my channel and in this episode I would like to talk about my PC build uh, or what I have done at this point and here it is so in the full glory well not full glory not in completely full glory but uh, basically you have an idea how it uh, how my uh, mod works and what it does so uh, for those who don't know what this series is about, uh, so I'm building my PC from scratch and uh, modding, so I'm buying these parts um, by myself according to some recommendations which I get from uh, other YouTuber videos or just read online or from um, manufacturer seller specifications and uh, I'm building this PC for uh, gaming and uh, workstation for video editing, some some artwork or other editing work. So as you can see, this is what I've done at this point. And yeah, so why this is uh, not a professional review for now, it's more like uh, my insights and experience about some hardware that I tried out and the main difference is between the professional review or I say professional review analysis is that uh, I'm just uh, like you guys most of us we're just getting parts from the shelves from the sellers and we are using them so it's basically a real life scenario not as a professional review where they, they get the parts from the manufacturers or sellers uh, so th 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 those parts are always in uh, good condition and perfectly working fine so it's like uh, the best samples and these obviously are not so I just want to share my opinion with you guys and I hope you appreciate it hope you like it if you do please uh, leave a like and comment on my videos what should I do next as well support my channel by subscribing and um, buying something from the sponsored links that would help with my with the financing and my my spendings because I've spent a lot money as you can see so yeah even if it's uh, for my own personal use uh, it's still not cheap came up quite expensive so yeah this is the mod that I did this is the modified panel for the radiators for mounting your radiators and as you can see I have mounted two 45 millimeter radiators as you can see inside it, there are the pipes I'm using the flexi pipes and one more good future with this uh, panel yeah these dents uh, they are totally my fault so before the painting I've dropped them on the ground I didn't have tools to straighten the metal so I just uh, leave it as it is so totally my fault so yeah this extra future is the the uh, regular carbon steel so the magnet sticks very well and as you can see the antenna just sticks in as well you can uh, stick something magnetic like uh, like a holder your earphones holder or uh, even um, if those are wireless earphones uh, like a charger with the earphones so everything would be in one place so this is still work in progress and there are a lot of wires and uh, some random things here like this flash drive for booting and yeah, I haven't done much tinkering or overclocking except uh, with uh, successful overclock with my CPU. Um, I've tried to do some overclocking with my graphics card, but haven't done much tinkering, so uh, not much to say about that for now. And um, yeah, so this is how it looks inside. There's nothing special just the back of the motherboard and back of graphics card so um, I'm thinking what um, could I have done differently is to make an extra hole in the panel here in the back 
to route the cables through the back mm, that would have been nice and yeah the these things so uh, big mess and that plastic package just to basically don't want to scratch my table I have not decided yet in which position I want to have this case in the vertical or horizontal so these just uh, help a little bit with uh, moving my system around the table if I need it and protecting my table from scratches so uh, sorry about that so as well I like to talk a little bit about the mounting of the radiators so as you can see I did the fans and radiators and I left the gap so my fans are blowing from the outside to the inside and then the two currents and the same the other fan blow takes the air from the outside then blows to the inside so two air currents meet and they just uh, goes away through the back and through the top and bottom so no problem with that uh, the filters they are quite an obstruction for the airflow and I'm not sure about using them or not in the future because uh, they are really really obstructing the airflow and ma making my system louder so I think I might be okay with just using a fan grills instead so let me know in the comments below what should I do with them and uh, yeah without going any further about the radiators so if you want to mount a really thick radiators you can mount them directly to the metal chassis and that even would help more with the heat dissipation as the some of the heat would be transferred to the metal and will dissipate into the air and the fans then in this scenario in this case would be mounted on the outside and then you can mount the grills or the uh, dust filters as you prefer and as well the LED fans would look very nice in this build so yeah I might do it in the future not sure yet but yeah this build is basically for performance not for show and uh, for now it's it's a very cool PC so it's depending on the room temperature it runs about from um, 29 to 30 so that's pretty much it from the outside guys we'll get into the inside as well and show you how it looks inside what I did so uh, let's fire it up and uh, show you some things some facts so yeah it starts loud as it goes on the maximum speed and uh, then it goes, gets quieter yeah, the monitor is uh, really old. This I uh, have a lot of problems with it. Well, the I'm using it because uh, my friend gave it to me, so it's uh, still working. But I had so many problems and crashes with it. I didn't know that you can have uh, so much problems only from the display, like especially with the dr sound drivers. Oh my God, that was a nightmare. Okay, let me just uh, log in. Yep, and there it is in all the glory. So, okay, the steam. Uh, it's obstructing, as you can see. It is 28 degrees Celsius, 29. So, 34. So, it's a very cool PC, even with a uh, not or with not all the fans working so basically uh, from on the radiators there are two fans working and because I don't have a defense splitter yet still waiting on it and but it's still it's a very cool PC even with my overclocked uh, processor and overclocked uh, graphics water cooled or a liquid cool graphics card my uh, Radeon XT 5700 XT yeah RX 5700 XT 
so it's still very cool my um, so in this video I would not do any benchmarks I'll just uh, oops the wrong program uh, I'll just show you some uh, temperatures so uh, here it is as you can see the temperatures are quite low on idle yeah, my uh, VRM temperature is very low so with my uh, extra heat sink it doesn't exceed 75 degrees Celsius even on the heaviest loads like uh, 40 minutes on 45 minutes with all course running on 5 gigahertz the uh, temperatures are really low or relatively low well they do doesn't exceed the uh, 65 degrees celsius on, on average they are even lower like 55 and once the task is done the temperature temperatures go down very fast um, to the uh, ambient temperatures on, or the idle temperatures so it's again to 30 35 degrees celsius so yeah as you can see temperatures are low and yes it's uh running on a five gigahertz so yeah, this is my uh, overclock feature when it doesn't need, it just uh, drops down to keep it cool, but it doesn't matter because even uh, if it runs on a idle mode on 5 GHz without heavy load, it's like 35 degrees, yeah, like 27, 28, depending on the room temperature. So guys, this is about it from the... Um, outside and yes as I mentioned in this uh, video I would not do I will not do any any benchmarks or performance tests so this is just basic it's not finished machine so basically that's it and yeah this is how it looks in the vertical position so it still has a quite relatively small footprint on the table in a vertical position I know there are smaller cases, but not with the these the size of radiators, because this is basically a monster. You can uh, in the future you can upgrade if you want to the uh, Xeon or uh, X series Intel or AMD processor. So has a lot of uh, flexibility, and probably show in the next video how it looks in a horizontal position. So guys, this is about it, and uh, let's look inside. So as you can see, uh, I have opened the case, and uh, yeah, so that's how all the things look inside. I have used uh, where is possible 45 degrees angles instead of 90 just to have a low lower flow obstruction and uh, I've installed uh, on the existing heatsink as you can see here an additional heatsink to help uh, with VRM cooling and I don't know if uh, this is healthy but it actually has dropped the temperatures about 10 degrees Celsius so that's a uh, pretty huge so th there is still some work to do like with these cables uh, I don't know what do I have to do if you have any suggestions just uh, leave a comment in the section below how should I manage them because uh, I'm using a cable splitter what should I do else so um, yeah, there is this wire, so I left this uh, SATA power cable for my extra hard drive, as, as SSD drive, probably I'm gonna buy a SSD drive, so yeah, guys, so these fans, yeah, they're not necessary, completely unnecessary, but uh, since I have them, so why not to use them? So that's that's what I did. Just uh, put them inside, and uh, 
now they're providing some uh, extra cooling I hope or just collecting the dust so yeah guys uh, tell me in the comments below what do you think about this build and probably it is not the most beautiful build in the, wo in the world but it's uh, it was uh, meant for for um, better cooling, overclocked hardware cooling, my CPU cooling and uh, lower noise. So yeah, this uh, hardware backplate, I'm not sure about the uh, beauty of that. Maybe I should change with uh, something much nicer, a chromium one, or just um, repaint it. So yeah, let me in the comments below, let me know what should I do with it. And uh, yeah, these uh, grill fans. So yeah guys, and about these fan grills or dust filters, I'm not sure about whether I should use them or not. Because uh, as uh, this part is completely separated, as you can see, from uh, inside components. So it's the dusting is not as important as the dusting inside the case with the components. So um, I'm not sure about using this so I might remove them and uh, just put some uh, some grills instead so it would help with the airflow and the noise. It's uh, quite still quite silent now, but um, more silent is always better. So yeah, this uh, this is my paint pre personal preference, my this paint job. Yeah, instead of having black, I uh, wanted to separate these parts just uh, to have some contrast. And then um, I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe I will repaint these panels with uh, the same grayish silver white color like reminds me of the uh, the great white shark so guys thank you for watching and I will leave links of the parts some of the parts in the description below if you wanna buy some for your build and uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about this mod and if you like this my video please leave a like and support my channel by subscribing and perhaps even you wanna support my channel financially by buying ordering something from the sponsored links below so guys thank you very much again for watching my channel and all the support and likes and see you in the next one. Bye.